to me explains it all with Oslo Rep Engage. Have you ever heard a theater person talk about performance reports? Well, today in Mia Explains It All, I'll let you in on the meaning of this term and explain why it's important. So performance reports are the primary way that the stage manager of a show communicates with our creative, production, and administrative teams once our show is in performances. Part of the magic of live theater is that each performance is different in small and sometimes not so small ways. And the performance report is our record of what happened and if there's anything we need to be successful moving forward. Each theater has a slightly different format for their performance reports, but most of the pieces are essentially the same. Each report has a few main sections. It includes information about the show itself. What performance number is this? What time did the show start and end? And how long was it tonight? And did anything unusual happen? We also talk a little bit about our audience, how many people attended tonight, and how did they react? Did they laugh at something or applaud? Did they stand up at the end? Finally, we give specific notes to each of our technical departments. Did we have mic issues? I'll be sure to note that in our sound section. What about if a prop broke? Uh, then I will be putting that in our prop section so that they can fix it or give us a new one. Our performance reports tell a story of what happens during each show. And to illustrate this, I'm going to do a dramatic reading of a few actual notes from real performance reports in Oslo Rep's past. Names and a few minor details have been altered to preserve the anonymity of those involved. Friday, May 20th, performance report number 39, costumes. One of Katie's shoes fell off in the transition from Act 1, Scene 3 to Act 1, Scene 4. It was not in the way for the next dance number. Rebecca was able to pick the shoe up for us in the following transition. Saturday, May 21st, performance report number 41, costumes. One of Jane's shoes flew off during Act 1, Scene 3 choreo. Amy was able to retrieve the shoe and get it back to Jane before the end of the song. Long story short, Jane was wearing different socks as she spilled ice cream on her regular socks, and these were apparently more slippery than her usual ones. Sunday, May 22nd, performance report number 42, costumes. We seem to have contracted some sort of shoe-related curse in the past few days. Jane again lost a shoe during Act 1, Scene 3 today. The Velcro came unattached at the very end of the song. Amy was able to pick the shoe up and return it to Jane without too much trouble. This is our third shoe-related incident in a row, and each time the cause has been different. Monday, May 23rd, performance number 43, costumes. No shoes were lost in the making of this afternoon's show. Thanks for tuning in again, folks. I will see you next time.